Well, it looks like the good folks over at YouTube have decided to prove the point of the commentary section of this video by striking it down with a community guideline strike. So, here I've re-uploaded it without the offending material. And really, what's a dictionary without a word to describe the policy enforcement team? Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the language and the words we use every day. This word seems to be popular these days for describing the state of the world we live in. Clown. Noun. A performer who wears outlandish clothes and behaves like a buffoon to humorous effect. History and etymology. The origins of the word clown are shrouded in mystery. It's possible that it comes from Scandinavian for words like cluny or cluns, meaning clumsy or klutz. Or because the word first seems to mean man of rustic or poor manners or a peasant, it could be related to a word like clod, like dirt clod. But there really is no evidence either way. The usage of the word clown to refer to performers in silly costumes dates back all the way to the 1600s and originally referred to a specific character or a particular kind of character in a type of performance called Commedia dell'arte, or as it was called in English, Harlequinade. These comedy routines usually revolved around two main characters, Harlequin and Clown. Those were their names. The Harlequin character is usually sly and clever, while the Clown, on the other hand, was usually bumbling and stupid. Eventually, the Clown character became so popular from it became its own pantomime and slapstick shows for itself. Now, the modern clowns were really popularized as a form of entertainment during the segments between equestrian events, when they would show horses or have horse jumping. They would have clowns perform. And even to this day, we still have something similar to this in what are called rodeo clowns. Clowns that'll come out after someone has ridden a bull and get the bull away from the rider, someone to distract them and keep everyone safe. If you'd like to see what the rest of this video was, and what horribly hateful things are hiding behind the YouTube logo, check out the full video over on my primary video hosting site, BitChute. There's a link in the description. And if you really do like this kind of content where I delve deep into the history of words and language, and then maybe a little commentary about what's going on these days surrounding these words, well, you should subscribe on here and over on BitChute. Don't forget to like the video both here and there. And share this video far and wide. And let's show everybody how silly YouTube is and what kind of stuff they actually, like, ban from their site. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Keep on learning.